How to split jerk in two minutes or less. The split jerk is a really great motion to overload your shoulders and is most commonly seen in Olympic lifting. This is gonna be similar to your overhead press or your push press, which we made videos on, but our stance is gonna slightly differ and we are maximizing the amount of weight we can get overhead. This is seen in the clean and jerk in Olympic lifting, where you'll see them jump, push one leg back and catch the bar overhead. We're gonna break down that movement today in the jerk specifically. Just like the overhead press or the push press, we're gonna approach the bar. We're gonna have our hands at about shoulder width or if you're doing this for a clean and jerk, whatever your clean hold is, you're going to tuck your shoulder blades down and back, pull them towards your spine, bars on our collarbone, elbows are under and in front of the bar. We're gonna tuck our chin and extend throughout the thoracic spine, keeping our low back and our glutes tight, and we're gonna press the bar up overhead. So as you approach the bar, if you're doing just a jerk specifically, we'll start from the rack position. I'm gonna have my hands at about shoulder width. I'm gonna pull my shoulder blades down and back. I'm gonna come back here. So this would be the start of the overhead press. If I were gonna push press, I would just dip my hips back and explode. With the split jerk, we're gonna drive one leg back behind us. So you're here in that push press position, and then I'm gonna split stance, catch and stand tall. And I want you to try and control that back to your chest. So, overhead press, push press, split jerk. You will probably be able to do the most weight with the split jerk, next being the push press, and lastly being the overhead press, because you're taking away that leg component more and more with each repetition or variation. What I want you to really focus on, if you're interested in strength or hypertrophy, is to lower that weight as much as you can and take advantage of that eccentric portion. This is something that you might get programmed in on a random day or thing, but if you're interested in Olympic lifting, that's most common. If you're interested in anything in terms of training, nutrition, or coaching advice, check out the link below for kaizentraininginnutrition.com.